Hello, biology students. Miss Forsyth is coming at you today. I am going over how to complete activity C on our cell types gizmo lab. So what we have here is I pulled up the student document over here on this side. And over here on the left, I have my um, cell types gizmo lab already loaded up and ready to roll. Okay, so we are completing this test. We're going to look at a bunch of different samples. And we're going to record some data to see if they are alive or not. So the test that we're going to do is a test for cellular respiration. Cellular respiration is how organisms obtain energy. Okay, so they're going to use glucose from food to produce ATP. And ATP we know um, is a molecule that stores energy for the cell. And then also produces carbon dioxide, which is what if you know as you're breathing, you breathe that out. <sighs> carbon dioxide goes out. Okay, we can test for these um, products. Um, using some indicators. So just like we did in our biomolecules lab last time, or one week ago, two weeks ago, we use indicators to test and see if something is present. We do the same thing for this sample. Okay, so what I did here was I'm gonna, collect, I'm gonna select my sample of E. coli, which is first. The directions say worm neuron. I'm not sure why, I think you just goofed right there. Choose E. coli first, because that's the first one in your chart to fill out. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my E. coli sample, picked it up, and I'm gonna go test for life. So it tells you up at the top what sample you're looking at. And what we have down here are some Petri dishes set up. And we have our positive control, which would be a um, sample that we know has um, a positive production of energy and we know goes through re um, respiration. We put our indicators in all of these. So when I hit play, the indicators are automatically added. And then our negative control is just nothing. There's nothing there, okay? And then our sample will go here. So our sample of E. coli would go in these Petri dishes right here. And then we'd run the test. And if our sample matches our positive control, that means it's positive for ATP. It produces energy. If it's positive for phenol, it'll look just like the phenol red respiration test looks. Okay, so if you're confused, just watch and find out. And the directions are right here too, you guys. This is how the test is in, um, set up. Okay, so I'm running my sample and my lights are on. This is important because some samples um, only produce some of these results in the dark. So you have to think about that as well. Okay, so in the light, we can see our positive control is glowing green. Our negative control is plain. And our sample is also glowing green. So our sample must contain ATP or produce ATP. So for E. coli, you would come over here to your chart and write yes. Okay, how about down here on the bottom for our phenol red, which is our light, um, I'm sorry, this is our respiration test. So did it go, does it go through respiration? Does it have carbon dioxide produced? Well, it looks just like our positive control, so that answer would be yes. Okay, our dark ATP test, that's what you're gonna do in the dark. So you have to reset your test, turn your lights off, run the sample again. Okay, now you can take notice. Look, it's glowing green, and it's the same color, that orange color. Um, and if you look right here, um, it tells you a little note so E. coli doesn't actually produce carbon dioxide, but it does produce an acid called lactic acid. So that's something to make note of. So it's producing an acid, so that's why our test is positive. So you can move back over here, same thing, yes and yes. And if you also saw this little note right here, the results are automatically recorded in your clipboard. So another thing you can do that's really cool with this lab is you can do all of your samples and then come back to your chart at the end and test it again. So you can look at your clipboard. Um, I already did the worm neuron as a prefix to this to test it out. Um, but the E. coli, you can see, check, check. Yes, they both go through ATP and respiration. Okay? And we'd have to do both tests because some samples don't produce, um, don't, sh don't show the results in the light or they don't show them in the dark, if that makes sense. You'll see as you move forward. Um, but yeah, if you're ever confused, you're like, I'm not sure if that's right, yes or no, check out your clipboard. Just click on the little clipboard button right there and it opens up and you'll have all your information there. Okay, once you finish, you've got your chart filled out over here. You're going to go back to your landscape, grab your next one, which is the fungus. Where is the fungus? Is it here? Oh, fungus, mushroom, duh. Test for life and you do the same process again. Okay, if you have any questions, please um, ask tomorrow during class connect. Otherwise, have a great day.